Hey there, everybody. My name is White Dragons, and welcome back. I get, I do the screen all the time. Back, I, I, I try to get rid of it, but I just don't. Anyways, welcome back to Minecraft Survival. You will die again. U W D A. You will die again. That's going to be the official name of the mod pack series that we are going to be playing with from now on. Because mod pack creators or mod mod designers are constantly changing their names. So, with that being said, let us continue with what we have been doing. So, last episode we basically created that beautiful thing there using the Minecraft Comes Alive crystal ball thingy. Now you're probably wondering why in the hell is this cobblestone uh, heaven? Well, it's not cobblestone heaven. It's actually cobblestone slab heaven. And this is actually to stop things from spawning because things constantly spawn with the um, Nevermind Mod 2 or Advent of the Ascension, something like that. Um, so we have to be very careful. Now, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, you're probably wondering why I have nothing in my inventory. If you take a look, I am completely without anything. That is because I died. I died to a lava, and that was a terrible thing. So this episode, we're going to be going over what we have been, well, what I've been doing off camera, and then maybe uh, taking a tour of the mine real quick, and that's pretty much it. We're not going to do anything else. Uh, along the way, we'll explain some stuff, and we'll get some things done. So, yeah. Okay, so for, for starts, we do have a huge field of wheat, which is super awesome. Um, I did have a lumber axe before I died in the lava. So, uh, if you plant your trees like this in a solid straight line, they will grow like that. And all you do is take the lumber axe, um, and I'll explain to you how we get the lumber axe from Tinker's Construct. You just chop one tree down, and all of a sudden, all the trees fall down, because they're all connected the textures are connected so that it's considered one big tree which is super cool also it's not a huge tree so the lumber axe i think only chops up to four four high five high or something like that it's like these huge mega trees that you see sometimes they won't get chopped down very often however you do run into the risk of these not growing because there's no place for them to grow so no big deal there uh, these are rubber trees, of course, these are birch trees, as you can see, and we have our oak trees over here. I keep the oak trees over to the far side because they grow, see, like that one just grew, damn, um, because they grow faster, and, uh, it's likely chance that a block update would, would ha not happen, so, uh, these are our drying racks from Tinker's Construct, you just make them with three slabs of wood, and you get these drying racks, which are super awesome because you can put zombie flesh on them and get monster jerky. Nom, 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 nom. And this is what I've been living on since the last episode. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I went out and died a couple times, but I got the items or the food sources that were around the area. So, of course, we have wheat. And we also have eggplants, we have lettuce, we have uh, artichokes, we have leeches, uh, we have cantaloupe, we have winter squash, which is not winter. We have cabbage, we have potatoes that fell off of zombies, and we have these things which fall off of the tree monsters that are in the Never Mind 2 mod. Uh, they're called Holy Tops seeds and they grow holy tops and what you do with holy tops is and i'll show you the bow here in a second is you craft them with uh, i think uh the leaf that comes off of this thing a feather and a stick yeah yeah and that makes an arrow that's designed specifically for a certain type of um of a bow that comes off the void creatures let me grab this real quick because I'm going to need these. As you see, our population has grown quite dramatically. Um, unfortunately, because I've lost all my gear, I cannot go out there right now and maybe save more people. A lot of these people were saved. Um, I also did create a trash can to throw garbage away, and there is an extra crafting bench up here if, say, I need to do something. Um, so... 
uh, so I can't go out there and help anybody. Sorry. Uh, the way this works is everything is cobblestone slab, like I said before. And uh, the places where it's not cobblestone slab, please stop that. Thank you. Uh, places that are not cobblestone slab, there is something on top of the block to stop it things from spawning. So it looks a really cool. And we have a ton of cobblestone, so I was able to make a ton of these cobblestone uh, fencing, or walls, or whatever you want to call them. And the water basically is water from the ocean over there, or lake, or pond, or whatever. And then you just fill it in. You uh, put a, a full block down. Actually, you could probably use the sugar reefs, sugar canes, to be honest with you. But I just used a full block, put it down, and then just replaced it. I could put stairs here to stop me from having to work so much uh, to reduce my hunger usage, but it didn't look right, so I left it. Uh, again here, I had to put slabs down because um, stuff was spawning on the inside, killing villagers. So that's why you see this outline right there. Uh, by the way, if you didn't know, half slabs to stop spawnage only work if the slab is on the bottom, not the top. So if you see here, this is a full dirt block. The half slab on... Excuse me! The half slab on the bottom of the block is, uh, is basically mob proof. It doesn't, um, it doesn't cause anything to, uh, spawn on it. So, FYI. Hey, how you doing? Are you, you still like me, right? Oh, I've already talked to you today, I'm sorry. Um, the Minecraft comes alive. Villagers, they really don't like you talking to them too much. Talk to them once a day, that's it. So, I didn't put any furniture in here because we're growing really fast. And, um... We may have to move out of here, which is kind of surprising. I was not expecting that. Um, what the hell was that? As you can see, we just got monsters spawning everywhere. Uh, so now, where is my base of operations? Well, as I was building this, I was wondering where I was going to put my stuff. You know, because I want the villagers to have their own place per se, but not really place per se. So. What I decided to do was go ahead and go down here, make a nice little, like little secret entrance. Ta-da! So basically, we're at the edge of the platform for our um, for our, our our what do you call it? Our uh, I'll get it out in a minute. Uh, of our walking area, our our living area right now. I don't know how to turn down that water sound, so it just may have to be there. Um, I just put those in to, because I didn't have anywhere else to put something there, so it was just easier to fill it in with something. Uh, we need reefs because we need for Mystic Craft, and we also need reefs for uh, trading, so that's pretty cool. Uh, here's some of the banners that you get off some of the mobs that you kill. And doesn't look like she... Oh no, it's a blood moon. Okay. We're just... We're gonna go down here. Blood moons are the worst. They get people killed quick. Uh, there's also a mine shaft that I found, which is pretty damn cool. Um, we're not gonna go there because of the sounds that I'm hearing. Uh, we also went ahead and dug down to level... 11? By the way, that's the sound of night. Uh, that's just an indication for you to know that you need to get the hell up out of there as quick as possible. The Blood Moon does, does change the color of the screen, so do be aware. I is not your computer. It's not my computer. It is the color of the that it changes it to. So I'm just going to poke my head down here so you can see. This is how I pretty much do my mining. Ooh, i got to get that stuff. Um... It's just pretty much simple. I go three wide, and then the fourth one is a column. Three wide, fourth one's a column. And that's it. That's legitly, that's how I do mine. Uh, if you take a look at the map over to the bottom right, you'll notice uh, the design of it's pretty much like a pretty much like a checkered board kind of thing. But that's pretty cool. I wish Minecraft would fix this whole fog of war thing where you can't see above. A certain amount of blocks I don't like that I don't like that a lot but as you can see we've got some chests over there 
which I would love to get to, which we were planning on getting to, but the freaking Blood Moon came out, so we can't do anything, literally, um, because I'm not well equipped right now. I've lost all of my equipment. Uh, I do not want to take the chance of something bad happening. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn off the noise, because it's going to get pretty loud. We'll just crank it up a little bit. There we go. Uh, there is a lot of shit out there, and I would love to show you all the stuff that's going on. But the moment I poke my head out is the moment I will die. So I have to be very careful. Uh, so let's go over the tools that I did have. So to make the upgraded tool forge, you actually need four iron blocks, the original tool forge that you created, and... I think, uh, four obs three obsidian. Um, and then you get this lovely upgraded version of your tool forge. And in Tigger's Construct, you get the lumber axe, which basically can fall any tree. So he says, fells tree, three by three by three. Um, so in other words, three, three wide, three long, three high. Okay, so that makes sense. Uh, unfortunately, these textures, the heater shield and the round shield, I don't know how to get them. Textures to come out, but eh. Um... But what I had was the lumber axe. I also had a bone hammer, which helps me create that three by three area. It's also a great weapon. It does add smite. Um, I did not create another matok because I have the wooden one and I don't really use the matok very often. I did have a bone pickaxe that had uh, a shit ton of lapis on it. And lapis, if you modify the, you can go and modify, if you go here, you put your lapis here, which your put your tool here and you can modify he says modifiers three lapis gives you luck which gives you fortune so there you go uh, I haven't used the bows quite yet and the arrows and the javelins are kind of as you see high damage but capacity is low so me not too happy about it as you can see the blood moon is in full effect this is the color it makes I joke you not um, the way this system works is there's a water system, water stream rolling down, and anything that uh, well, there's a water stream on the other on that side too of the of the area, but anything that gets in it uh, has a 50/50 chance of streaming down this way. So yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to make any campfires. You know what? I'll go out here. Fuck. Yolo. Here, I'll show you. So this is what it looks like when Blood Moon is in effect. Everything is red. Now as you see, these jerks are getting stuck for some reason. Gotta be careful. Okay, there we go. Just one of them needed to move. Um, but this is pretty much what the Blood Moon looks like. There is, ev I mean, every type of monster will come out and attack you or try to attack you. Um, every monster that has the ability to spawn in an area will try to come after you. Right now, we have a, we have a Sasquatch. Ow! You, you know what? I got this. I got my matak, my matak, my matak. Oh, how you like that? There's a bastard that slows me down. Come here. Come over here. Fight me like a man! Fight me like a boner! See that guy in the background over there? I don't know if you can or not. The guy with the ugly creeper face that's upside down? He's actually the one slowing us down. He has a he has a debuff he puts out on you. <clears throat> you, follow me. Come over here. Come here. What the hell? Alright. But no, come back. I got this. I got this. Ah. Ah. There. Uh, Blood Moon affects all monsters, so it doesn't matter what monster it comes from, what mod pack it's from. Oops. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I'm dead. God dang it. Well, thankfully, we have a bed. Uh, for some reason, they spawned up here. I don't know why. I don't know why they would come up here, but they do. Unfortunately, these guys are more fixated on a... Oh, God. 
Can you guards just like punch him? What the hell? Something's hitting me. But it's not him. I don't know what it is. Oh, it must be because he's right there. Can you move? You're not gonna help move. God dang it. Here. Right there. Get him. Sometimes the Minecraft comes alive, people just don't respond too well. I would like to know how the hell they keep hitting me. That's weird. But, um, they have super OP abilities. Um, can you go out there and fight it, please? Go. Thank you. Damn. Okay, this is stupid. I'm slowed now. Oh, I got killed by the giant spider. Son of a bitch. And this is what I was talking about. Uh, Greystone mod's not working properly for some reason. It's keeping my... Oh my god, you're huge! Gravestone mod, it, it's supposed to put my stuff in the gravestone, but it doesn't. Excuse me! Can one of you useless guards get out there and take on the spider? This isn't difficult, people. Get out there. Go get him. Go get him. Ah! And you can't go to sleep on a red on a on a blood moon. By the way, I needed I needed to add that in. Look, you guys can walk out there. Just go out there. Ow! 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 Stop it! Are you serious? Thanks. Did you kill it? About damn time. Alright. Just grab my stuff here real quick. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. That's pretty weird. Uh, there is a 50-50 chance that when you break these that a monster will spawn out of them. So I would suggest not doing that anytime soon. Oh, and there's a, a Enderman Executor from Monster Girls. She is not something to joke around with. Ooh, I'll take that. But as you can see, there's just a shovel tons of monsters out there that just want to eat my brains. And they also want to eat the villagers too. So, yeah. Oh, that night wing's coming over here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Leave. Can I get some help? Great, I gotta kill this ghost too. God, I gotta do all the work. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Oh, everybody's on fire. <laughs> you better get in that water, huh? Oh my god, we're just so slow. What are you doing? Can I hit you? No. Oh, we're so slow. It's so terrible. I hate those things. Oh, let me go, please. Oh, that feels much better. And this chick. Oh, I wish I... Ooh. Ooh, I don't want to try it because I don't have enough life. He would eat me. Oh, he would kill me in a heart attack. Um, unfortunately, the Minecraft monsters or villagers uh, guards don't do very much. And that kind of pisses me off a little bit because that's what they're there to do is fight. But sometimes they don't interact with the um, with the mobs because the monsters because they don't see them as enemies. I guess because of the, the design of them or something? I don't know. So, we'll see. But this has been how I've been mostly getting all my XP and all my gear, is uh, using this little bad boy here. And, uh, you know, I say it for about... Ow. Please kill it. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'll sit here for... a good rough five minutes, maybe? Killing off monsters left and right. 
and then eventually it'll go quiet, and then that's it. Um, if you look up to the top right, you'll see that we've got a uh, bar that's filling up with red. That gives me a strength bu bu uh, buff in in the next deck next night. So that's pretty cool. Just so much. I can stand here and spam all freaking day. But this isn't a really strong weapon neither. Let's get another weapon. And like I said, I got crap tons of stuff in here. Let's see. Getting the weapon. I need a sword. Not those swords, those swords suck. Another sword. There's no more swords? Do I really not have any more iron swords? You bitches need to start dropping some iron swords now. Alright, well, I guess we'll just go with this. Let these break. Pain 2. I don't know what that... I don't know what Pain 2 is. Oh my god. These dudes that just, like, slow you are so... Ow. Are you serious about this? How come I'm getting hit? Nom, 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 nom. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Hurry up and die! What What's happening is, is there's a wooden spike. The wooden spike from, I think, Extra Utilities, is that right? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Extra Utilities. Oh, God, I forgot about them. Oh, them ninjas. Oh, God, I hate them. Um, what they're doing is they're falling on the spike. Okay, God. They're falling on the spike, and when they fall on the spike, they uh, take damage. And the damage they take is one all the time. Let's turn this down just a wee bit more. And um, when... Um, what the hell are you all doing? Stop being weird. Uh, where the hell's the door? Oh. And uh, when they when they when they're down to half a heart, it actually stops damaging them. And then they if they like re like regenerate, they will um, they will just keep losing one heart every time or take one damage every time. Like this asshole here. Yeah, you go ahead and stay in there, buddy. Yeah. You think about what you've done. You jerk. There's no way for me to kill you, neither. I'll just go back to work here. That's really... I, I like this concept. I found it. Somebody was using it, and I just love it. Any of the other um, spikes will will cause... Uh, will cause no XP. Well, that's, that's pretty much easier for me. Uh, so, this is the only spike that doesn't uh, cause uh, loss of XP, which is pretty... Q and I guess I'll take a axe. I really haven't been making any weapons because as you can see, things just ow, things just constantly are killing me. So Yeah, shoot your magic. Go ahead. Uh now the only problem I have with this one is that it only kills enemies that are three are seriously! You people wanna get hit! only kill um entities that are three blocks high one block wide so I need to work on something that will help me with that can I not get to you eh. okay I cannot get to you okay um the other problem is is as you've seen and we need to wrap this up is the Minecraft comes alive villagers they just don't know how to operate against some of these mobs um, like, I have a bunch of guards, but the guards didn't attack the ender, um, that enderman, human enderman. They just left him alone, like he was just, like, regular. Oh my god, there are so many of you. Look at all those, these guys here are the ones that do the slow buff, but oh my god, there's two of them. Maybe I can lead them out here? Come over here. Come on. Come on. Come and do the water. Under the sea. Under the sea. Okay, now, maybe if I do this, 
Then I walk away. Okay. The radius is so bad. I mean, not bad, but it's so long. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <clears throat> so, this is pretty much what I've been doing uh, off camera. So, uh, oh, there's another one. I need to get a bow and arrow. I need a bow and arrow and to kill these things. God! It's so slow. Make me so slow. Anyways, um, is there anything else? No, not that I can think of. Is this dude still alive or is this another one? Oh, this is another one. Okay. So it is working. It's just not working to my... Seriously, you can shoot me? Oh, we lost the, the sword, too. Huh. Oh. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, 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 Oh my god, this troll had 160 health. No wonder he's taking forever. Oh, we got two bags out of that. Ow! We got two bags out of that. God damn it, I gotta fix this. Alright, guys. Um, so that's pretty much it. So, I'm gonna keep doing this for a little bit longer. And I'm gonna try to decide on what to do about our little issue with uh, space. Because as you can see, the guards are kind of getting in my way. Some of the guards are useless. Oh, we got this from the last night. I, I killed him. He got in my trap. <laughs> and I killed him. That was great. Um, that's a cool bit of armor, too. Just have to do some redstone stuff and things like that. Um, anyways. So, anything else I can think of? No. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. Likes, comments, greatly appreciate As always, we do this for fun, not for profit. Yes, you're getting this lovely entertainment. For free. So, as always, leave a like, comments down below. Let me know what I'm doing right. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Or hell, just leave me a dot. Let me know you care. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye bye.